Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fab day. Today guys, I have got for us oh, a Primark haul. So yes, I have got this huge bag, I had to splash out for the bigger bag, um, of stuff to go through. So um, we'll do that. Firstly, I will just apologise if my voice is a little hit and miss during this video. I'm just getting over like a cold and flu and my voice hasn't quite got there yet, but it's almost there. It's almost there. Okay, so Primark. I mostly went in because I'm in need of a new coat, so I thought I could get some bits for that. I was interested to see what Christmassy bits they had and Disney things. I didn't need any of those really, um, but do check out my little look around Primark's Disney stuff video if you were interested in that. They had so, so many Disney things as always. They had so many things if you want gifts for people, Disney clothes, Disney pyjamas, so, so many. So make sure you've checked out that video if you haven't already. i link it below. Um, so yeah, I don't know where to start with this, <laughs> but as ever, I will try on the clothes and things that I got for you. I didn't get an awful lot of clothes, like I said, I mainly went in because I needed a new coat. I'm going on holiday very, very soon, but I didn't really need anything for that. I did actually pick up a dress on the sale that I'd had my eye on um, during the summer. It should have been £18 and I got it for £5. Um, and when I got it home, it just didn't fit nicely at all. Um, I'll possibly insert a clip now of me, uh, well, a picture of me trying it on. Um, just didn't like it. Um, Chris was taking something back, so he took it back for me. Turns out it was only a pound. <laughs> Crazy crazy um so i didn't get that but we'll start with the courts then i picked up two courts only went in for one <laughs> but i couldn't decide what i wanted i'd seen one that i really really liked but then i thought it's not necessarily crazily like rainproof if you will so i'll show you that one first okay so i got this lovely beautiful kind of woolen look gray coat it's got pockets it's got a hood with like a faux fur trim um i just thought it was really really pretty i liked the like light gray of it and i just thought it was a really nice coat it fits very very well and i got it in a size 12 and it was 32 pounds um which isn't bad at all it's lovely and soft like so it's got this fluffy hood for a fur hood with like a fluffy lining um, and it's just really nice really comfy really cozy um, but obviously it being that kind of woolen texture I wasn't 100% sure if it would be necessarily the most sensible coat in the world but I did love it and um, thought it was very me so I wanted to get that and then I'll show you the other coat I got now the other coat I got was on sale um, they didn't have my size so I bought a size up thinking well you know, winter's coming, I can layer up underneath and things. So it is a little bit large, but it's a nice, big, comfy, cosy coat. Let me show you. So I got this one. It is a, like, leopard print puffer jacket number. It's got a huge hood. Um, like I say, it's a little bit big. But to be fair, you know, like for the winter when you want to layer up or like walking the dogs and things, uh, just out and about doing stuff, I just thought a nice, big comfy warm winter coat might be nice and like i said this was on sale it should have been 30 pounds which isn't bad at all and it was down to 20 pounds now i would have usually got this in a medium but they only had larges or they possibly had extra large as well and which is a 14 to 16 so it is a little bit large for me but the sleeves do fit nice and i actually will say they have like a little elasticated bit just in the sleeve so it fits snug to your wrist, um, so it's really nice. But like I said, it's a large, but it works, I think. It is, it's a huge coat. I mean, I'm well aware it isn't gonna be for everybody, but I just liked it. I mean, I'm hoping I don't just look like Carol Baskin in it, but hey-ho. <laughs> um, so yeah, two coats. And to be honest, I paid like, what, 50 pounds for the two coats? Um, so really, that's probably less than I would have paid elsewhere. So quite happy with those. Okay, then in complete honesty, I didn't really pick up an awful lot in the way of clothes. Um, there wasn't an awful lot I went in for. I mostly wanted the coats. Um, I did want to possibly get some just like basic black t-shirts because I can't seem to find many of mine. This one's not as basic. This has got my boys on it. Um, but I did get this one. I got, it is a stretch crew 
t-shirt um it's not the baggiest for me at the minute for this fit but it's more i wanted them to like go under jumpers and things so this one i got in a size medium which is a 12 to 14 and it cost oh i don't know what it cost <laughs> oh i'll just find the receipt one sec this cost three pounds i've just found it on the receipt um which is possibly a little bit more than they used to cost um but as a basic black tea like I say for like popping under jumpers and bits and bobs um this time of year it's kind of a necessity um so yay okay the next item of clothing i got um i got another one of their like kind of basic sweatshirts but this one's christmasy um i just really, really like the kind of sweatshirts that they kind of do they're really easy to throw on if you're at home or just popping out and about something like a nice little casual look so i got this one which says merry and bright it's this lovely kind of greeny turquoisey color and um, it's coming up a bit more blue looking on the camera possibly um but it's really really nice i got it in a size medium which is a 12 to 14 and it cost me six pounds these tend to cost about six pounds i've had many of them i love them the disney ones i think possibly cost like eight pounds but they're fab as well and to be disney for that price um is really good um so i just thought that was a really nice one like it'll fit fine it's like a really easy thing to throw on over kind of the christmas period Okay, so I think that is all the clothes I picked up, like I say, other than that dress which did go back. Um, so now we're going to move on to accessories. Okay, first thing I got, I love Primark's hats. They're super cheap, super cheap, super, super, super duper cheap. And they kind of look great, feel great, they wear great. I've had lots in the past. Um, I got this nice little grey one. I thought it would go lovely with that grey coat. It costs £3.50. It feels like really good quality got a nice little pom-pom i suppose i'll pop it on my head i'll probably mess up my hair now but i think that they look really cool i like them like i say i think it'll go really nice with that gray coat because it's going to be cold soon um so that'll be nice hopefully my hair's not a complete mess now um so yeah three pounds fifty they had various different colors and things so depending on what you're after you can probably get something um and obviously they have different styles and whatnot so there'll be lots of wintery stuff in primark if you're after any Next, another winter essential, I got myself some tights. Now, uh, these ones are in a size medium. Um, it does give you a little size chart on the back if you want to know. Obviously, when you're in there, have a little look. Um, that seemed to be for my height and kind of stuff. I got the right one, I think. I think, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so where are we? Um, these cost... Oh, why is the bloody price? Okay, found my receipt. Okay, so tights. This is um, three pairs. They're 100 denier or however you pronounce that. Um, they're uh, with weather sensor finish. Keeps you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm. Yada, yada, yada. So let's see how much these were because the price isn't on there. But again, I got in a size medium and they cost six pounds. So that's not bad at all for three pairs of tights. Um, super useful during winter. Like I said, I kind of fallen out of love with like wearing jeans at the minute so like wearing dresses and skirts and leggings but obviously useful okay next accessory they had three different types of these i didn't know which one to get um i got myself some mini ears you know i love disney um and i am going in april so make sure you subscribe to the channel because there will be vlogs coming um they had like christmasy ones but I'm obviously I'm not going for Christmas time, so I thought I eh, don't really need those ones. They also had some kind of pretty much standard black ones with like a red bow. I've already got something very similar to that. So I picked up these ones. They're black with like rainbow sequiny sparkly bow. Um, so they'll go with various bits and bobs, and they cost three pounds. I think all of them were three pounds. Um, like I say, if you're going to Disney, it really is worth a trip to Primark. They have so much stuff. Um, and like I said, it is for £3. In the parks, you're going to pay like £20, £25, euros, dollars, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, worth having a little shop at Primark if you're going to Disney. Okay, the next accessory um, I got with Christmas in mind. I got a beautiful bow for my hair. Um, it's like a shiny, metallic-y material. Um, I just thought it was super duper cute. And like I said, it was going to be lovely at Christmas. And it only cost £2. So I thought that was really good. Um, it's just a... What do you call that type of clip? A clip hang on, let me just pull it off the thing. Oh, it's sellotaped in. But 
you can see there. For two pounds, I thought that wasn't bad at all. Um, it's just really cute, pretty. Okay, the next thing is a little like shopper bag, um, perfect for Christmas time, and it folds away all nice. And yes, you guessed it, it is Disney. It's got on there Christmas crew, and it's got um, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, and Daisy. They're decorating the tree. Oh, Goofy, did I say Goofy? I don't think I did. And they're decorating the tree. It's got a lovely little pouch, obviously, it goes in, and then the bag itself, I think, has the same print on it possibly or different no it's a different print inside but either way it's just a useful thing i thought it'd be nice for like christmas shopping and things you know i love me some disney um did i say it was two pounds <laughs> next is another christmas um disney item i saw it actually after i'd already paid for my shopping and things so when chris went and took my dress back he actually picked us this up um and it's a disney ornament it's mickey mouse shaped and it's like a little bell so it's super duper cute, it jingles. The type of thing I was actually hoping I could have picked up from Disney um, last year, like a generic Christmas ornament. Um, so I love that, it's a little Mickey shape. Our tree I decorate in gold, silver and like white. So it's perfect for our tree. And it costs £2.50, which isn't bad at all and way cheaper than all the stuff at Disney. Well, here's Luna. Have you heard the jingle in? Hmm. I don't think she's coming up. Hey, come in. she is. You like it? Oh, jingle jingle. Oh, jingle jingle. No, you're not sure. I'll put it out the way. Okay, next I saw this when I went to the till. Um, it's not particularly Christmassy, but I bought it for Christmas. Um, my nephew is a big Spider-Man fan. Look away now, Nate. <laughs> um, so I saw it as I went to the till. I got some Spider-Man wrapping paper. They had quite a lot of wrapping paper near the tills. They had lots of Disney ones. Um, I need to check what wrapping paper I've got, to be fair, before I start buying wrapping paper. But I know that my nephew's a big fan of Spider-Man. Um, so I got that to wrap his presents in. Um, and it is, let's see. Oh, there's, they've got an extra 15 centimetres of paper added for protection because it's not actually in like any plastic wrapping. It's probably more environmentally friendly. And on here we have five metres. And I'll see it's official Disney Marvel, so... Cool. Um, and it costs one pounds and eighty pence. Next, a couple of items from the beauty section. I got myself a face mask. Actually, do you know what? I think this came on that little walk up to the tills. It was very busy when I was in there, so I had time to peruse what was there. Um, so this is a multi-peptide sheet mask. Um, it helps revitalise and firm. It's a vegan, and it costs one pounds and thirty pence. So I just thought it was a nice one to try. Might even take it away on holiday, do a little cheeky face mask video for you guys. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that'll be an interesting one to try. Primax face masks tend to be pretty good. Okay, and the next thing I got, um, do you know what? One of the things I really, really wanted when I went in there and I saw it online, um, they've got some new Disney Princess hairbrushes. They've got Tiana, Jasmine, Rapunzel. Can you guess which one I wanted? Yeah, can you guess the only one they didn't have? Yeah, no Rapunzel hairbrushes. I mean, I don't really need a hairbrush, but I it's not very often you see tangled stuff in um, Primark, so yeah, disappointed. But anyway, I did pick this thing up. Um, I wanted a new little hair towel. Um, this is a Disney Princess one. It's got like a castle um, print on there. If I can, there we go. Just so it's nice, pretty. I was actually thinking I have one, but I wanted to get a second one just so the one could be in the wash. Yada yada yada. Um, so this cost a four pounds. You'd pay more elsewhere, so that's kind of fine. It's just a nice like, little towel hair turban um, to keep my hair out of the way while I'm getting ready and stuff, and dry it off a little bit. So yeah, cute. Okay, the last couple of bits are for my feet. Um, so I'll show you the only pair of shoes I bought. Um, these were on sale and they actually would have gone really nice with the dress that I um, sent back but either way it doesn't really matter because they're really good for the price. I got these kind of Converse dupes. They're a lovely like baby, what do you call it baby? Baby slash hot pink. Just a nice Barbie pink. That's probably what I would call them actually. They're coming up quite bright on there. Um, but yeah, nice, a nice Barbie pink Converse-esque 
shoe. I got them in a size 5, which is my size, and it always fits me really, really well from Primark. Um, these should have been £6, however they were on sale, so they were a steal. They were £3. I should probably check the receipt, I might have even paid less, who knows. <laughs> Let me see. No, they were just £3. <laughs> So yeah, I just thought they were really good buy and you know, they're really easy to kind of wear, throw on. I do like my Vans, but for three pounds, you know, if these get kind of destroyed, I can wear them for work and things and not really worry too much about them getting too dirty. Three pounds, what a bargain, what a bargain. Okay, and the last item on this haul, um, I bought myself some slippers. Um, I've been wearing these, which I think my sister got me either for Christmas or for my birthday, they're little mermaid kind of slip on ones. and. Now that it's getting to winter, I wanted something to keep my feet a little bit warmer, but I did like the fact I could just slip them on. So I saw these and I thought they were really nice. Um, pair of slippers and they've got memory foam. So they are really, really soft and they feel really comfortable. I got them in a size medium, which is a five to six. I'm a size five. Um, and they just feel really cozy. Obviously they're really fluffy lined, so they're gonna be really warm. Um, and they weren't too expensive, they were five pounds. I've been looking for like a pair of slippers to just tide me over and pretty perfect for five pounds. I've, I've even looked on like Sheen and they seem more expensive for like a nicer slipper. So five pounds for these, thought it was a really good deal. Like I say, I think they'll be super duper comfy because of the memory form and super cozy because of like the fluffy lining and that is so soft, it's lovely. <laughs> Okie dokie then guys, that is everything that I have picked up on this Primark haul this time. I didn't go in for an awful lot. Oh, I suppose the other thing that I did buy, oh, I put the ornament back in there. Um, I bought the bag, that was a pound um, because I had a lot of, a lot of stuff. And I also had some of Chris's stuff, which I put in there also. So got a lot of stuff, it was mostly coats. <laughs> uh, it was the only thing I really wanted, the coat, I suppose. But I had a good old look around. Like I said, Primark is definitely worth visiting at the moment if you're wanting to get some Christmas presents for people, especially if they're Disney fans. There's so much Disney stuff. Again, remember to check out that video that I posted of looking around Primark because there's lots of good ideas on there for gifts and things. Um, if you've got a trip to Disney coming, that's absolutely worth popping to Primark. Oh, always is if you're a Disney fan, really, really is. So check out Primark. Anyway, guys, drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this haul. What do you like that I've picked up? Is there anything you don't like? Um, drop me a comment and let me know. And if you've enjoyed the video, then please do me a favor, hit that like button, give me a huge thumbs up, that would be fab. Make sure you're subscribed, I do hauls all the time. Always talking Disney if you like any of this Disney stuff. I'm going on holiday very soon to the Maldives and I will be making some videos for that. So yes, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got plenty coming. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the most I've talked in a while so I think my voice is doing quite well. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care guys. Bye bye.